and welcome back to RC Icons. So in this episode, we've got a Caleb build to show you. So Caleb had come to me, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago looking for a kit to build. So I went into storage and uh, was trying to find something that I thought would be fun for him, in all honesty. And uh, he ended up choosing the Blitzer Beetle. I took out a couple of different kits, a Hot Shot Riri kit. He's going to build that one next. But he really wants to, he really likes to build cars. Um, he likes to run them too, but where it's winter here, um, he's kind of pent up. So I figured I would let him do a couple of builds. So this video is going to be um, a video on him building the 2011 Riri Blitzer Beetle. So I actually had two of these kits. Uh, the, the other one will be a custom build we'll do on the show at some point just because I, I think the Blitzer Beetle is a great platform to do uh, like a custom rat rod style uh, street car. Um, but the Blitzer Beetle livery itself um, in the kit form is absolutely awesome. So I've got all three of the family of this truck. Um, I've got an original Stadium Blitzer I've got a, I think it's a Riri Stadium Thunder new in box kit to build. The Stadium Blitzer is original. That's new in box to build. And then we've got the Riri Blitzer Beetle that Caleb built. Um, like I said, the other one will be a custom build. So when we get into the video, he's kind of shy, so he doesn't like being on camera. So I'll, I take pictures of him building it along the way, and I'll basically just voice, you'll hear me voice over and explaining what he's doing. And then uh, we'll see. We'll try to do um, a wrap-up at the end of him running the car. Um, it might be a little bit hard if we can't get a decent day. So uh, we'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. But he did a great job building the car. It feels absolutely awesome. These are awesome cars. If, you, if you're looking for uh, like an entry-level two-wheel drive car that you can take out and jump and have fun, um, I can, I can definitely recommend the Blitzer Beetle because it's short money. They're now they're getting a little bit higher priced, two seventy ish. Um, when I picked these up, they were like a hundred and eighty nine dollars, I think, hundred ninety bucks, um, which I thought was a steal, which is why I bought two of them. Um, but they haven't done another run. It's been probably a year, so they're starting to, uh, they're starting to get a little bit harder to find which means always the price is going to go up sorry just cutting a little bit of flushing off the back um so yeah he built the car i helped him out with the body uh he did some of it i did some of it but it came out absolutely awesome and it's the first blitzer beetle i've ever seen in the flesh and i gotta be honest it's absolutely awesome it's a gorgeous gorgeous car um the colors are great the body the the stance everything about it is just just awesome and you can tell like you could jump this all day long and it would just take it so yeah so let's uh let's see what do i want to do i guess i mean i'm not going to really bring the camera over there's nothing really to see the kits built so let me just get on to um the slideshow and the uh voiceover and i'll see you back here at the end for a closing so here he is getting the kit out and ready to go he likes to get everything set up in the tubs um, he starts off the build with the gear diff and he starts moving into, I believe it's the rear end. Um, they have you get the whole rear gear box together. So that's what he's doing here. The rear gear box is getting built up and, uh, getting ready to be attached to the car. Um, here he is assembling the rear arms and uprights, getting the motor installed. He actually soldered the wires on. Um, that's the upper arms being assembled and getting ready to be put on. And then this is the complete rear end together, ready to go in the car with axles in place. Once he gets the rear end done, he starts building the front end, um, getting the servo ready to go, getting the arms built up and the ser servo saver on, gets it mounted in the chassis. Uh, he does all of this stuff himself. So then he gets the rear gearbox attached to the chassis, gets the front gearbox, not gearbox, but front bulkhead attached to the chassis, starts working on the shocks. Um, again, he does all of this himself. 
Once the shocks are built, he gets the rears assembled and put onto the car. Then he starts working the wheels and tires, getting them ready to go. So just keeps carrying on uh, step by step with the manual to the point to where his chassis is finished. Did an unbelievable job. Thing looks great. And then uh, immediately gets going on the body, gets the body all painted up in black. Gets going on decals. He needed a little bit of help here and there with the decals, but he, uh, for the most part, he does it all himself. Um, he's built quite a few cars over the years. Starts for, One of his first cars was a TC01, uh, which is a very involved build, but he definitely has skills for a 12-year-old. This is probably his sixth or seventh car that he's built, but you can see that um, he takes his time uh, even with the paintwork, getting everything dialed in the way that it should be. This particular point, the car is, uh, the body's done and the driver figure is in. And then these are just some pictures of the finished car. Um, essentially just on the bench, right? So came out great looks good paintwork looks good nice and shiny so uh we're definitely looking forward to getting it out for a run um we still have another month or so here of winter but uh that run will be coming soon so i hope you guys enjoyed caleb's build of the blitzer beetle from 2011 um i think he did a great job to be honest i was i was trying to get a running video of him running it before um before this video was over but the weather's just not cooperating here in the northern u.s we're at negative 15 degrees uh so there's absolutely no way i can get this out to uh to run it we're gonna have to wait till spring once we're done so glenn's video of the blitzer beetle actually went out this past weekend it's february 4th um today and it's funny because Caleb just built this last week, right? And now Glenn's video comes out. So Glenn had done tire writing and done tire decals on it. And we're absolutely going to do that after the run. Um, I didn't want to do it beforehand just because I know they're going to get ripped off. And then I'd lose sight of the fact that this is supposed to be a runner for Caleb. So um, that's another reason why we haven't really done it. But after seeing Glenn's, um, I really like the way the tire writing look looked so uh i do have another one of these kits you'll see it in the future um we're gonna do a slammed down low street basher version with slick tires um more along the lines of what mark did on uh mechanic after hours he did an unbelievable blitzer beetle and that's essentially why i bought it i saw his and i was like same thing with the DB01 Triple R. I was like, man, I gotta have one of those. <laughs> I gotta be careful with YouTube because I see all these awesome builds and I just, I want one. Um, that's a lot of the reason why I got into collecting was watching Glenn. Every time he built a car, I ended up buying the same stuff to build it. And um, so it is what it is, right? We, we vicariously live through the people we watch. So I hope... That you guys enjoyed the video i know it's a little bit different having caleb building it and having me having to narrate the pictures but he's just uncomfortable talking through the video which is understandable i mean he's 12 years old right so the fact that he's able to build something like this with a little bit of help here and there with decals and the, and the paintwork um primarily he does the whole thing um he just asks for a little bit of help here or there or asks for a tip um but the rest is him so he's working on a hot shot re, -re kit now so you'll see that one come up in the future but you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think of uh of this style of video i know it's not typical of of uh what you see on the channel um i'd love to see him start his own channel building cars but i don't know that that's going to happen anytime soon just because he's got uh he's got to break down that barrier of of being shy talking to a camera I, like i told him i said you're just talking to a camera it's not like there's anyone in front of you who cares um but yeah you'll have to let me know in the comments if you're not already subscribed i'd ask you to consider subscribing to support the channel um leave me a thumbs up that's another way to support the channel if you do subscribe make sure you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the future builds 
and you don't miss the running video, first running video of this thing, I know he plans to do some jumps with it, and uh, I think in all honesty, the suspension will take it no problem, so I'm looking forward to it. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>